Welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most powerful indicators that you're going to see in this crypto space. I'm going to make it so clean. If it sounded interesting, drop that like, give me a subscribe. Which one am I talking about? I'm talking about the Williams three lines. Some people call it the Williams alligator. <clears throat> But it's basically three lines and it gives us a good clean perspective of trends and where we are with a certain uh, 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 price in certain cryptos or stocks or whatever they use it for. Because, you know, traders use this for many types of stocks, right? So, yeah, let me break this down. This is not financial advice. Do your further research if you decide to buy after this before you invest your money. So take a look at this, right? And like when I say I'm going to make this super clean, I'm going to show you something that no other uh, influencer or analysis person has ever shown you with these uh, William three lines. Because if you take a look, we've got a red line, an orange line, and a green line. It usually consists of three lines. But I'm going to switch it up because I want to make this super clean and super simple. I'm going to take off the orange line, which is the amber line. So now we're left with two lines. We've got the red line and the green line. This is super clean, super easy. Your six-year-old daughter or son should be able to follow what I'm about to tell you. With each cycle, we have a massive trend going upwards. And then once it peaks to the top of the market, Prices start to fall down and you can see with each candle, prices, uh, you know, going up and down. Green represents price going up. Red means prices are falling down. And if you look at these two lines, you can see clearly where to buy the market, where to sell the market and when to re-enter back into the market because a new trend is coming. Let's take a look at 2013's top of the cycle. Notice when the price was falling, it came and met with this red line. Take this as a warning sign. If price action comes down and touches this red line and we start to see a candle, another candle come on the other side of this red line, expect price to fall to this green line at some point in the future because it always happens because it means you've missed the top and now we're starting to see a trend reversal because price is so weak now that it's coming down and it's going to touch this red line, right? And I tend to look for let me just grab it. I tend to look for a quick movement upwards in the market over the next few candles. And we see this a lot uh, as the trend goes on, right? You see what I mean? <clears throat> so, uh, you know, the top of the market's kicked in. Prices fall down. It touches this red line. On the next candle, it's inside of this red line. We see a short rally up before we then come down and touch this green line. If we touch this green line, expect the price to fall an extra 40 to 50%. Because every time we touch this green line, uh, prices fall at least, like you can see down here, about 40 to 50%. Let me just do it one more time so you can see. Touch the green line, came down, and this is about 54%, all right? I'm using Bitcoin on the monthly time frame. So this is a monthly candle time frame uh, that you're looking at. And I'm using the Bitcoin index chart. You can use the Bitstamp chart if you like, but I tend to find this better because it's got more data. You can see further back. So once we've had this, we then see the opposite after the bear market has happened. So we form this bottom. You can see down here, we've been down here for months and months and months. Uh, prices start to move above again. So we can see the price action coming above the red line. What do we want? We want confirmation of price action going above the green line. Let me get rid of this to not confuse anyone. So uh, when the price breaks this red line, we want a confirmation that the price is going to go above this green line. If it goes above this green line and holds above this red line in the future, expect prices to go on an insane rally because that's what we saw all through 2015, 2016, 2017. You can see here, price action finished its bear cycle. It came up, it broke this green line and then price held above the green line and the red line going forward all the way through to 2017, 2018's top. What happened? Same thing again, guys. Look at this, look. Now remember what I said here. Price action peaks out at the top. Price comes down and touches this red line. What do I say to expect? If it touches this red line, expect prices to eventually, so at some point in the future, come and kiss this green line. So we can see here, price touched this red line. I also said to you, I'm going to expect some sort of a quick rally upwards once it's come into this. The next candle, you can see here the next few candles in the past. 
rally upwards. Same thing here, look, 2018 cycle, we hit this red line. The next candles had a nice little rally upwards. You can see it got rejected off this red line and then it fell down in price and eventually we met this green line. And like I said to you, if we touch this green line, guys, expect at least a 40 to 50% crash in the market, which is what we saw right here. This is about a 46% crash. Let me go again real quick. If you want to, I can probably start from the top of the candle, which was here, right down here, about a 49 to 50% crash. That was 2018, 2019's bottom. What did we do? We formed a bottom for a period of time. Months and months and months. We broke this red line eventually, and then we saw huge candles come above and break above this green line. What happens? Price action remains above, above this green line, but what also happens? Price kisses this red line. So what do I say? If it kisses this red line, expect prices to come back down to the green line. We saw the candle hit this green, uh, red line. We saw candles rally again, just like what I'll show you here, rally again. And then eventually it came down and touched this green line. And if you want this whole red candle from here to here, let me see if I can do it real quick. Uh, from here all the way down to here, as soon as it came uh, back into the red side, we saw a 54% crash down right? All because it came to this red line, green line, 50% down. If you want to measure it from when it comes from the green line to here, it's probably a bit shorter actually. So I'm trying to work this. Hold on a minute. Uh, so from here to here is about a 40% crash down. That's from the green line. And then what happens? This was the C19 event, by the way. Prices come back up. We, it was just a strong buy power wick. You see, prices went above this red line and then we held the support of this red line or we stayed above this red line for a long period of time making sure you can see me, a long period of time. Just like what happened here, look, the price action was above this red line, we went on a massive rally. Same with, <clears throat> you know, 2020, 2021 cycle, we went on a massive rally. So you're probably thinking, where are we today? What's going on with price action right now? I'm gonna show you. But if you're liking this so far, drop that like, give me a subscribe, become a patron, because this is what I show my patrons. They're seeing this video early. I'm trying to get people you know, ready for what's gonna happen in this market. I'm, I'm paying serious attention to charts. I know exactly how to make money in this space. If you wanna get in early on things that I'm buying, because I know exactly when to buy and when to sell, become a patron, link is in the info section. Click it, come over and take your pick of the tiers. I recommend my exclusive VIP partner tier, this one here, it unlocks all my posts. You can see when I'm buying, selling, staking, the lot, chart analysis. You can see things like glass node anal analysis because I will keep dropping them analysis on glass node as well. Gotta keep up updating you on that one. But yeah, you won't miss anything. You're gonna get the opportunity to see these powerful charts and everything else. So let's go back to this. Where was I? <coughs> What's gonna happen in the future? Where are we right, uh, right now in the future? Because, you know, what happened, same as what I told you here, uh, we saw a massive rally upwards. Uh, we saw a candle come down and touch this red line. And what did I say to you? If it touches the red line, expect it to go to this green line in the future. And if you're looking to this side of the screen, you can see it right here. I'm gonna bring it across. Right, so what happened? We saw the red line, uh, we saw candles come to the red line. We see this rally up, but well, in this case, it actually came above. But I expected a rally up because we hit this red line, candles came up. But because it hit this red line, I knew at some point we were going to fall down and come and touch this green line eventually because it's always happened in the past. What you can do if you want extra confirmation is look at another indicator called the RSI. And this is it here, the RSI indicator. And notice that every time the uh, price action has come down and hit this red line, it's been after a peak of a uh, uh, in the in the trend of the RSI uh, indicator. So right up here, look, we can see the, the RSI, this blue line is really high up. So yeah, at a 95 level, that was at this green candle here. See, look, it didn't touch the red line to many candles after, and then look at where the RSI was. You can see the it was falling down, it was overbought, people were starting to sell off. Same with this one here. Look, green candle up here, it kissed this red line when the RSI had sold off, people had sold off everything, right? 
So um, that's that's another thing you can do if you want an extra confirmation. So we touch this red line, we see a short rally up, then eventually we come to this green line. What did I say? If we touch this green line, expect prices to fall about 40 to 50%. And that's exactly what we did here. Prices fell right down uh, 55%. So where are we now? <laughs> you can see it with your own eyes. We are following a same pattern that happens every three to four, maybe four to five years, it just keeps on looping. And I think we're going to do the same again. What's happening right now is we're in this phase here, same as when we were, you just broke out, we're in between these two lines. Let's just have a look at this one, look, we're in between these two lines. We pro broke out, trying to, you know, trying to get above this green line. When we see prices come above this green line, which right now, Bitcoin would have to come right up to about $36,000 and then sit above the green line. When we see that, and then we see this red line start to move up and then Bitcoin starts to hold prices above this. That's when you know the bull rally has begun. <laughs> but I just want to, you know, pay, make sure you pay attention to a few things here. Let me try to draw this out. And it might not be 100% accurate. If we see the red line do something like this, I'm not sure if it's 100% accurate. But we're just going to do it for now just to give you a, qu a quick insight as to what could happen. And then if we see, uh, let me just grab another line like this. The green line i'm just trying to you know give you a quick perspective of things if we see something like this let um, me change this to green right here we go yeah no what's happened why is that one red uh that should be in front no that's weird look at that it's like it done two different lines and oh, let me quickly come back on that that should have been one line Hold on, let me just do this one again. Because uh, what I'm trying to show you is like, what could, el what else could potentially happen with these as we go forward? I mean, this might not be a 100%. I'm going to come back and touch you on it, right? I expect that prices, you know, if we're coming on a down trend at the minute. We could come right down like this, bounce like this, and stay above this red line just like this, you see? And then prices just keep going up and up and up. That's what I would expect something like that to happen in relation to price action. If it doesn't, and then we get something like this. We see, you know, it bounces down. It comes up like this. But then it falls through this red line and it can't get above. Expect it to come back down to this green line. And guys, must I say, for at least 40% in price. 40 to 50% in price. Which one do you think is more likely to happen? I mean, if it did something like that, and again, this isn't 100% accurate, you know, you could probably see a Bitcoin price of under $10,000, but time will tell. And this is what many people believe that, uh, you know, you keep hearing people say 12,000, 10,000. Many people believe that something like this could happen. Maybe we do see a rally up. Maybe we see Bitcoin's price come right up to about 46, 50,000 and it just can't break above. And then it crosses down and then we see a massive sell-off bringing us right down to like 10,000. I don't know. Time's going to tell. Uh, ideally, I'd like to see the other pattern play out better where we start going up. But we will see what happens. Guys, I'm going to leave it here. If you liked it, drop that like. Give me a subscribe. Thank you for watching. Become a patron. I'm trying to give you a good clean insight to this market and show you how and when to be buying crypto and when to be making good profits and things like that. Uh, and this is just clean, simple analysis. Like I said, your kid could probably watch this and understand everything that I've said to them. Okay. So yeah, links in the info section. Click it come over i look forward to seeing you over there thank you for watching and i look forward to seeing you in my next video cheers